Using NearMap's digital surface model and OpenSolar 3D, you can see exactly where the shadows fall on your solar panels, any month of the year, any time of the day. Hi, I'm Josie, instructional designer at NearMap. In this video, we're going to discover how to switch on and use OpenSolar 3D, including analyzing shading and accessing accurate and detailed performance data. I think we should just start. With NearMap's oblique add-on, you also have access to NearMap's DSM. DSM is our 3D digital surface model content, available at the same high coverage, high accuracy and update frequency as our oblique imagery. DSM represents the Earth's surface and includes all objects on it. It contains elevation data that allows us to automate a 3D model of the roof for super accurate shading and production estimates. You can choose to do all your system designs using 3D. Under the hood with 3D, OpenSolar uses the SAM or System Advisory model, which allows more detailed and accurate performance predictions and cost of energy estimates than the PV Watts calculator used in 2D design. With 3D, you can add optimizers and microinverters to your design, add bifacial modules, account for inverter clipping, factor in the temperature coefficient of the panels. In practice, if you start designing in 3D design mode, you need to keep designing in 3D to have access to the shadow analysis tool. How about we take a look? Head over to Projects, click New Project, and enter the address. It'll default to residential. If you want, you can enter contact details. Then we click Create and Design, and it will go into Studio Mode. Now, make sure you're in Full Design Mode. You can only access 3D Design in Full Design Mode, so you must turn off Basic Design Mode. As your project loads, you'll see the oblique thumbnails and the vertical thumbnail across the bottom, as we've seen before. Now activate OpenSolar 3D by sliding the toggle. When you do this, three things happen. A 3D DSM model loads, that is, if the address is in our 3D coverage area. You can check our 3D coverage areas using the interactive coverage map on our website. Go to nearmap.com slash coverage. You see the DSM thumbnail alongside the other thumbnails. The System Advisory model is enabled. The System Advisory model, or SAM, is a software model for renewable energy systems. It calculates energy output differently from the standard OpenSolar interface. The first thing you notice is the DSM looks a bit like a melted scene. That's okay. It's meant to look like that. Besides, we don't need accuracy down the sides of structures, just on the tops where the panels are. And don't worry, your customers don't get to see the digital surface model. It's only there for your design and shadow analysis. We can right click into the image and then just drag our mouse around. We can view the roof from different angles and we can just have a look and see if there are any obstructions. You'll find that placing panels using 3D is a rather automatic process since the digital surface model is in fact a 3D model of the roof. So size, slope, azimuth, obstructions are all there. You just need to check that you're placing the panels on the right roof facet, on the north facing roof in the southern hemisphere and the south facing roof in the northern hemisphere. Not sure where north or south is? You can check it out from the compass at the top right. To lay the panels, all you do is follow the usual process of clicking plus panels. So you can simply just place the panels individually or by scrolling across. You can see here that it automatically detects the slope and the azimuth that you're working on. And there's our solar array. If you need to measure the roof facet, say to determine setback, click Drawing Tools Roof. Then draw out the facet by clicking at each vertex. To check whether your design is aligned to the roof, click on the vertical thumbnail. 
Note that given 3D design is enabled, you won't be able to edit anything in this vertical view. You can only edit your 3D DSM view. In this example, the roof and panels are aligned with the image beneath. If this were not the case, you would need to fix it. To fix this, click Align from the bottom right and drag the map until the panels and outline match the roof image. Click Align again to exit Align mode. If you want to include another image in your proposal, for example, the South view, click the South thumbnail. Now check Show Customer to include this image in your proposal and the thumbnail will now be flagged accordingly. Now that those panels are on the roof, we can easily determine if the property is a good solar candidate by doing a quick shading analysis. Click on the panel group and on the toolbar, select the shading dropdown. Here you see the shading analysis tool. This graph shows the times of day that the sun is up and then the months of the year. So you can see here that the customer's roof is pretty much getting sun 100% of the day all year round. Happy days. This is the ideal solar customer. So you can click in any time and you'll see the path of the sun's rays. Each ray is shown per six cells of a panel and so the information is very detailed indeed. As you'd expect, we see different shadows at 5pm than at 8am. At these times, the graph is showing red and we can drill into that information and see what's causing that obstruction. Right click, zoom around, maybe pan out and see if we can identify what's causing the obstruction on this roof. Here, we see that this tree is the cause of the obstruction. Now, let's have a look at an example in the Southern Hemisphere. As these panels are 20 year systems, we can try to project whether any vegetation might become an obstruction in the future. This bush, for example. We can use our drawing tools to turn it into a tree. Click Drawing Tools, Tree, and place the tree onto the scene and allow the system to recalculate. Back in the shadow analysis, we can see that the tree affects that roof in the winter months in the middle of the day. So we can click onto the reduced percentage in our shading analysis and then zoom around and have a look. We can see how that tree is going to affect those panels. And we can say to the customer, hey, in five to 10 years, you're going to have to chop down the top of that tree so that you can make the most of your solar panels and make sure you're not getting any shadow onto it. With OpenSolar 3D, you can perform some detailed analysis on the system generation, consumption and export to grid. Just click the Show Detail button in the toolbar. Use the slider to view the chart data throughout the months of the year. Once you have 3D on, OpenSolar will warn you if the inverter in your system design is oversized. You can also analyse system losses from shading, reflection, snow, wiring and much more, both overall and per inverter if applicable. And as I mentioned earlier, your calculations account for inverter clipping and the temperature coefficient of the panels. Your proposal and any reports you generate for projects you create in 3D will pull in the more accurate data derived from the SAM model rather than the PV Watt data. If you have any existing projects not modelled with 3D, calculations for those will still be shown in PV Watts. You can switch them to 3D by advanced settings, OpenSolar 3D. Finally, it might be helpful to know that OpenSolar 3D is a design tool offering superior data and calculation, but at present there's no way of sharing those cool visualisations with your customer in a proposal. It is at the moment for your eyes only. Pretty cool, huh? So now you can unleash the power of 3D onto your solar designs. And this brings us to the end of our NearMap on Open Solar Getting Started series. Thanks for sticking with us through these videos. They're here on the Knowledge Hub for you to revisit whenever you need. You might want to work through them again as you set up NearMap on Open Solar for your own business. And remember, there are heaps of resources on OpenSolar's support site, as well as on NearMap's Knowledge Hub. 
Thanks for watching.